So in the last video, we showed how to take a character that we drew from the very beginning, and we made a couple of costumes so that we could animate it to give it the feel that it's walking or moving. And in our code, we just had it running forever from left to right. So what if we wanted to make the character one that is controlled by using keystrokes, like, for example, the arrow keys up, down, left, and right, rather than having it move automatically. Well, we'll do that in this video. So the first thing we're going to do is, under the forever um, loop, we are going to pull out this set of code because we don't need it right now. I'm not going to throw it away because we might need parts of it um, as we get started, but this is how we're going to, uh, to get going here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to controls, and I'm going to grab an if... Uh, uh, code block. And I'm going to say, under sensing, I'm going to say if a key is pressed, and let's just say left arrow is pressed, we want it to move, we want it to do these same things. We want it to move five steps, and if on the edge, we want it to bounce. Okay, so let's, let's give that a try. Okay, so that's working. All right. Um, if we want it to go to the right, we want it to also move five steps. So I'm going to duplicate this set of code, and I'm going to say if right arrow is pressed to do the same thing. Now let's see what happens. Okay, and what you'll notice is it's whether I'm pressing right or left, it's actually going in the same direction. And what we have to do to get around that is we're going to have to go to our motions section. And we're gonna we're gonna make sure that it's pointing in the right direction each time. So when we want the left arrow pressed, we'd like it to go in this direction. And when we click on the right arrow, we want it to go in that direction. So let's let's just see if that works. So I'm gonna do the right arrow and then the left arrow. Yeah, that's better. So we're just telling it which direction to face depending on which key is pressed. All right, the next thing we want to do is make sure that it can go up and down when it's when the, those keys are pressed. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this set here. I'm going to put it below the next one. Let's see if we can uh, get it to maybe reduce this in size a little bit so we can see everything. Actually, I'll, I'll go to the regular size and I'll just scroll up so you can see it this way. That way it's, it's bigger. So we have the right, we have the left. Let's do the up. Now, if we want the up arrow, um, we... We're not so worried about the direction it's pointing, we, but we do need to change the, um, the movement. And the way we're going to change the movement is we're going to pick a change by Y block so that the Y axis being up and down. Okay, we're going to change it by five, the same amount of movement is there. We still want the costume to change, and we still want it to bounce if on edge. So if I hit the green flag and I do up, Okay, that seems to work. And then we'll, f we'll finish it off by doing a down arrow. And the only difference with the down arrow is that we want it to go in the negative direction or downward. And we'll hit stop and start, and that looks really good. So if, as I'm changing these different directions of play, um, it is moving according to those keystrokes. Now it's a little large, so I'm going to get rid Now I don't need these anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. And I'm going to come over here to the top, and I'm going to make sure that every time it starts, it's going to start a little smaller. So I'm going to set the size to like something like, let's say, 60%. Okay, and that looks that looks better. That looks like a size that's sort of fitting with the background that's in here. Now, the, the cool thing is, and in another video we might show this, but maybe you make another character. And maybe you make something happens when one character touches another character. I think that, that, I'll leave that coding uh, creativity up to you. All right, that's it for character movement based on keystrokes.